All right, here we go. We got Toronto's finest. What's going Casper on, TNG. Welcome yeah, to Vlad yeah, TV. Yeah. Thanks for having me, man. Hey, man, you've been making a lot of noise uh, for a while now. Congrats on what you've accomplished. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, so you were born in Toronto. Yeah. Okay. And what was Toronto like in the in the 2000s? 2000s. 2010s, I guess, would be more accurate. Fuck. I don't know. That's like kind of like when, um, like, I don't know. It was, it was just, honestly, Toronto to me has been the same for, for like my whole life. Like I've been downtown, like, you know, I was born and raised downtown. Like I never left, you know what I'm saying? So like, it's always been the same for me, just fast paced, you know, a lot going on and stuff. So like, you know, there was, there was, it was always kind of the same to me. Like, I don't, yeah. Okay. And what nationality is your family? I will a whole mix with a whole bunch of stuff you know like okay um my mom my mom she's half black and half spanish chilean and um like canadian like canadian black whatever you know uh um, new brunswick and then my dad he's uh half um from barbados his dad's from barbados and then his mom is white from germany so it's just like mixed up with a whole bunch of stuff yeah okay Okay. And your dad was actually a rapper himself. No, he wasn't a rapper. He was like um a singer, like R and B. Okay. Yeah. Right. And he was in the group uh T B T B T. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like early on. Teenage when he was a teenager or whatever. Right. And they actually got uh, a Juno Award for yeah. uh rap recording of the year. Yeah, yeah. You know, it was a kids group essentially. Yeah. Uh, at the time that, that had a lot of success. So you kind of grew up in this environment with your dad being a musician? Um, yeah, basically somewhat. But by the time by the time when I was uh, born and stuff like that, like all of that kind of like died down. Like it wasn't really like how, like I didn't get to experience like, oh, like, you know, my dad's like a celebrity or something like that, you know? What happened to his music career? I mean, it was a big song, I guess a big, pro a big album. What happened after that album? Um, Pretty much, fuck, I'm not exactly sure, but from what I know, uh, he got introduced to like Islam and stuff like that, and, like religion. And mm. like, I guess he chose that over doing music and whatever. So he kind of stopped doing that or whatever. But I guess like later on and down the line, he just started to get back into it a little bit, I guess. I don't know. Uh -huh. I'm not exactly sure of the situation, you know, but from what I know. Oh, okay. So that's where the Muhammad last name comes from then, from your dad uh, becoming Muslim. Yeah, both my parents, they, they converted before before I was born, right? So I was just born into Islam and stuff. I had a Muslim name. All that. Grew up like going to a mosque all the time and everything like that. Okay, so but you yourself, did you ultimately stay religious or not so much? No, I stay, I stay religious. I still, I still practice my religion and stuff like that. Still Muslim, like, you know, nothing really changed for me, to be honest, because that's all I know, really, because growing up, like, huh? Yeah, no doubt. Okay, and your brother is K-Money. Yeah. And this is uh, your younger brother, a couple years younger? Yeah, he's three years younger than me. Okay. So, you know, as as you guys are growing up in Toronto, yeah. um, you know, were your parents comfortable or financially struggling um financially struggling basically basically i had uh teen parents right so like, my parents had me they were teenagers or whatever so um yeah that's basically what it was basically uh when i was born i was my mom lived in um kensington market which is basically like you know augusta avenue goes into alexandra park all that right so that's where my mom's from and my grandma and all that family. My dad, he's from Regent Park and stuff like that. So when I was born, I first lived with my grandma. Then I moved to uh, Regent Park till I was eight. And then, yeah, I moved from Regent Park after I was eight. My mom f lived into like a, basically still metro housing, but it was like a townhouse or whatever, you know? So I lived there, but the whole time, like my whole life, like 
like you know how it goes like when you have young parents and stuff like that it's usually the the grandparents that are you know more involved and stuff like that right so that's basically how i found myself tied up like you know with the whole like you know like i spent a lot of time in my grandma's house in alexandra park you know stuff like that so like that's how i really knew everybody and stuff like that so but like it, growing up it was like yeah like we didn't really have much you know we didn't have much it was just um like yeah food banks all stuff like that like you know so like yeah yeah it was kind of it was struggling you know it's hard you know yeah i bet i mean tj uh teenage parents and then i mean your brother came money how many years apart three three years same parents yeah okay so now you have tj teenage parents having two kids yeah <laughs> while still essentially teenagers or you know yeah. in their you know late teens early 20s yeah uh, without a lot of money and and just really being kids themselves, yeah, really. exactly. And it's yeah. like, it's like so I can growing up, like you don't really, is. you don't really, uh, like I didn't really realize that I was like that I grew up different until like you know when I got older and like people would tell me like, yo, your parents are young and like stuff like that, and I'll be like, oh shit, like I'll look at it and I'll be like, yo, for real, like say a word, that's crazy. Cause I'm looking at, I'm at school, I'm looking at everybody else's parents, they're like old and stuff like that, like you know. I'm just like, I'm like, oh, that's crazy. Well, okay. So by the time you're, you know, in your teens uh, in Toronto, do you get into trouble a lot or are you relatively a good kid? Um, honestly, in the beginning, like, uh, like growing up, I didn't, I didn't really get into trouble like that, you know? I didn't get into trouble. Um, like, I was, I was, I was, I was, I was a basketball player, you know? I used to just play basketball. Like I used to focus. I was like one of those ball is life people. You know what I'm saying? Like, like all I care about is basketball and this that. Like the only reason I was in school is to play basketball and stuff like that. So I was like, like, yeah, like I, I didn't. I tried to keep keep out of trouble and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Like when my friends are smoking weed and all that stuff like that when we we're in high school and stuff like that. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't smoke weed and stuff like that. Like I'll just be like, you know, I'll be around, but like I'm not. I'm not partaking in it and stuff like that because I'm trying to do my basketball stuff and trying to focus on my grades, whatever, so I could like try to, I don't know, do something, have a career in basketball. Like I never thought that music would be like what I was doing. Like I, I, I would play basketball and stuff like that, but I, I didn't really get into trouble much, to be honest, as at a young age, you know? <laughs> 